Three, two, one, go. Last time, we seen the Rizna battling Capro and Goldie and adventuring to a migration destination along this hill. And now, she has left. And now, it's time to see what she is up to now. In Prehistoric Island, Episode 5, Thirst in the Battles, Part 2. So let's get started. We are in the grasslands. And we see Therizna uh, walking through the grasslands. As you can see, only a tiny bit of the green vegetation still remains from the frost of the winter. But winter is approaching, and this would make a good snack for her on her way. She eats some of the grass. Nom nom nom. She continues on to move to find her migration destination. She continues to walk across the grassland. As she walks, huh? she notices something in the distance. What she sees is over near a large pine tree. Uh. She then goes to check it out. Uh. Uh. This is a parcel office eating off of a pine tree. It's a male, as you can see by the bright yellow crest on his head. He is probably migrating too, or maybe staying for the winter. But we think he's migrating because he's eating off of this large pine tree. As we said earlier, she goes to check it out. Past her office, turns around to a very loud noise. Uh. And what that loud noise was, was a there's an asaurus, there is no. Uh. 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 He feels like he's threatened and just stares at her. Uh. Uh. She is not going to threaten him because. She was just curious on why he was here, since she normally knows that some dinosaurs migrate to other parts of the island which are warmer but still get snow. But she does know that some of them do stay, but she's unsure which he is doing. Derisen tells him, do you want to come with me so I can help you? Uh. The pastor office agrees to this, and he follows. Derisna leaves, and the pastor office follows. Uh. 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 They, move, they leave and walk across the grasslands. Uh. Uh. As they walk, they think they are safe, but they are quite not safe, since predators are stalking them once again. So stalking them right now are predators. Once again, stalking Therizna, and this time a male parcel office is Capro. <laughs> Capro has beat Goldie up, and Goldie decided to, to run off and hunt for something smaller. And as the days passed, Capro has been following them. And he is hungry.
and then he decides to sneak up on them. As they don't notice him, they keep on walking. Capro follows them. There's none of them do not even notice that he is behind them. Since they have stopped, Capro has prepared to strike. <laughs> the pass always backs off. He has no entry. But he is for Therisna. But as they face off, something happens similar to what happened yesterday. Two predators stalk Therisna. A juvenile Allosaurus. These creatures were like the T-Rex of the Jurassic period, but smaller, 39 feet long. But this is a juvenile only 20 feet. So, even though he is smaller than Therisna, he has to chance it, because he must. And he goes to strike. As they're fighting, Pastor Office is unaware of the Allosaurus. The Allosaurus has changed his mind. <laughs> the Pastor Office has been wounded on the side. Therizna hears the pathologist's calls and goes to help. And today, we get to see the power of Therizna's very sharp claws. Thalsaurus, before he attacks, he gets hit. He has got a large scratch on his side. The pastoral office is wounded, and for this, she must defend him from, Cap from Capro. <sighs> she, she, he bites her arm. <sighs> Although with her claw wounded, she then decides to show off her, her good claw. He gets hit in the eye, but with his armor plating, he is well protected. But the Rizna must and do indeed protect the Paraswa office. Capro will not give up so easily on food. The Rizna slashes him in the face again and slashes him to the ground. She then roars in triumph for knocking him to, to the ground. The pastor office gets up. Their wounds that they got will heal. And they begin to walk off. They begin to walk off from the battle scene. Oh. To continue their migration. Oh. Capro gets up 
He then sees the other competitor, a juvenile Allosaurus. But he is not alive, he is dead. So, so since he hasn't gotten any food in days, he then begins to feast. On the um, juvenile Allosaurus. Hours later, they continue to migrate. Uh, oh. But a few days later, they have arrived. Uh. Still with their wounds, they have healed up a little bit. But they have made it to the migration destination where the pterosaurs are. But they are seemed not to be found in the area. Uh. They are happy that they have made it to a more lusher part of Priest Island. Uh, since they are here, they decide to eat. Uh, uh, they are happy that they have made it to the migration destination to where the terraces are. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Priest Ground. Have a great day. Bye. Three, two, one, go. Bye, guys. Uh, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Priest Ground. Have a great day. Bye.